Coming. Work. We won't 
be able to send in another chopper for now. Boss, you'll need to eliminate the skulls. We cannot lose Code Talker.
over to the LZ and wait there. Skullface is no longer in Africa. The nuclear test was a success. Now they turn their knives on me. Satellites didn't read any test. Neither did seismometers. The detonation test took place five years ago in the southern Indian Ocean. The final test was the opposite. To prevent detonation. You mean... Skullface plans to sell nuclear weapons that he retains control of. It's not like hawking small arms to militias. Indeed. He plans to avoid detection by exporting minerals containing tiny amounts of uranium in the form of metallic archaea. Once on site, the metallic archaea enrich the uranium weaponize it, loaded onto all-terrain bipedal machines. They ensure any country, armed group, even the smallest terrorist cell, can become a nuclear power. Bipedal. So that's why they needed Huey. A new business to replace the arms business. And Skullface owns the market. The very atmosphere of nukes, anywhere and everywhere, Deterrence on all sides. So that's why he ran a non-detonation test. Yes. Another metallic archaea instantly overrides the criticality generator. The fail-safe only he controls. Any such weapon can be deactivated whenever he chooses, regardless of who owns it or their intent to use it. Snooks. Controlled by a man, not a country. If they proliferate, conventional nukes lose all that. Political, military, and economic. The two superpowers become powerless. to stop the epidemic at Mother Base. About the pathogen spreading through Mother Base, what's your opinion? Textbook symptoms of vocal cord parasite infestation. And judging from this casualty list, it is the Kikongo strain. Meaning, breed of parasite that triggers symptoms upon detecting pronunciation specific to Kikongo. So how do we keep them from becoming symptomatic? Use this. A type of Wolbachia. Introduced to a sample of the parasite. Parasitic bacteria that colonizes the parasites, turning male to female and preventing copulation. We must cultivate more.
Thanks to Code Talker, we've managed to put a stop to any new vocal cord parasite infections. We couldn't save those already symptomatic. But everyone who survived has been released from the quarantine platform. Skullface will pay for this. Again with the truth serum? What are those legs made of? Titanium? All the way to the femur. <laughs> Metallic Archaea. Sahelanthropus. Where is it? What? We have to know before his plan is complete. Sahelanthropus is the final piece. W w what are you talking about? If the Soviets break out a mobile, controllable nuclear weapon... East-West relations will be right back at the Cuban Missile Crisis. The Cold War returns to life. As countries without nuclear arsenals line up for what skull faces selling. Nuclear weapons proliferate overnight. And on the brink of annihilation, the world maintains its balance. But we know this is all just a shield, a ruse. The cleansing parasites are what matter most. A WMD to eclipse even nukes, and the only one that can still be used. Skullface is the world's greatest threat, and zeroes. The pieces are in place. All that remains is to unveil Sahelanthropus in Afghanistan. They can't activate it without me. KB-0, the Sahelanthropus is beyond the Soviet base camp, in a lab built by the Soviet philosophers. That's what you're looking for. But I have no idea how he's controlling it. It wasn't designed to accommodate a human pilot. Word from Afghanistan. Everyone at the Soviet base camp's dead. No sign of fighting. Parasites. Skullface's men then headed north. The target is OKB Zero. That's where he'll activate Sahelanthropus. Unless we stop him, he'll go down in history a conquering victor. We can't let that happen. Wipe him out. 
Don't leave any trace of his existence. I'm gonna need backup on this one. You'll rendezvous on site. 